Oh my god. Alright everyone. We are replacing the rubber bushing in the motor driven power steering in this 2013 Hyundai Sonata. I've already started the process. There were Phillips screws here and here. Underneath this panel you can just, uh, this panel has a little screwdriver slit so you can just pry it up and pull. It's just held in with clips. Okay. And then there's a screw here and there was another screw over here. Um, also, you can't see it from here, but you have to turn the steering wheel. There are screws here and here under the wheel. And you have to actually turn it with the car on to get those two out. Um, I have already gotten those out. And we're going to take this panel off. And once we have this panel off, we'll just sort of go from there. Oh yeah, by the way, this might be important. Disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. You'll need a 10 millimeter for that. Probably a good idea to do that as soon as you get your two steering wheel cover screws that are under the wheel out, since you won't need to start the car after that. Okay, there are two little plastic clips. There's one here, and there's one, well, right here. Um, those clips hold this on. You can actually pull this up and it'll pop the clip loose. Once you reach under here and you start pulling this panel loose, it'll probably bind up on something right here. But that's okay because before you do anything else, you really need to get these electrical connectors off of your OBD2 down there and your switches here so that you don't damage them. So go ahead and take care of that first. Okay, just to help you out, you have to get the OBD2 connector out as well. It actually has clips, little plastic clips on the sides here. If you look real carefully there, you can, well, if I focus, you can see there's these little clips you may need a flat blade screwdriver to get it to come out. But there are two clips holding the OBD2 connector in place. And uh, you have to get both the white connector and the OBD2 connector. Next up, this big metal shield has to come down. Uh, I believe those are 12s. And I don't have a 12 in here, so I'm going to go get that. Hey guys, so you remember those 12s I was talking about? Guess what? They're actually tens! Tens! Not twelves. There's a lot of nuts and bolts to this. Take the shield off. Alright, kids. So we're under the steering wheel here, and we need to get this protective shroud off. And look what's up in there. Yep, that's a Phillips, and it's at a funny angle. So it's hard to hit. I might actually just use a I don't know, maybe it's a 10. Maybe I'm lucky and it's a 10. But that's got to come out. Um, like I said, I already got the screws that are underneath the wheel. You actually have to rotate the wheel about 45 degrees. They're right between the wheel here in this seam on both sides. So don't stop the car when you get one. You need both. All right, so check this out. Um, I've got to get up under the steering column and pull a bunch of wires and junk, get this shroud off and all that. But first, I went back inside because I realized I need a flashlight. Oh, good, it works. And I also needed some of this a little bit of uh, vodka, coffee flavored vodka. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any cream out. But uh, if you're old enough that you're legally allowed to drink, this can be useful when you're sitting around in your garage and it's raining outside and miserable and cold and you want to feel a little bit better about the fact that you're scraping around in a dirty floorboard pulling bolts. So for people who can legally drink, highly recommend some alcohol in your toolkit. 
Plus, if you have a nice big gash, you can sanitize your wounds or something. Okay, remember that weird angle I was talking about with that screw? Here's the weird angle. I don't know, maybe, maybe seeing it from other angles will help you to figure out the uh, weird angle for yourself. But there, there it is, and yeah, it's turning. It's easy to uh, miss the screw and end up just doing nothing. Take it off. Okay, I found another problem. When you take this little steering wheel shroud off, it's going to grab your ignition switch. So, don't force it too much over here. Actually come over and, uh, you know, push the switch while you pull away at this so that it clears it. Also, the tilt steering is handy to move it down so that you can actually do that. Uh, yeah. Okay, guess who wasn't recording? <laughs> so there's one connector that goes up here. All right, one connector up here. That comes out, hang it up somewhere out of your way because it wants to fall back so bad. There's this thing here we're gonna have to remove. Um, there's bunch of connectors here everything coming off of this wiring harness wire here they've all got to come out so I'm gonna do that and come back okay there's a couple tricky dickies right here first of all you've got this it goes up here to this uh, signal stock or washer or whatever it is wipers um, this connector goes up in the back of here and you have to it's hard to get out you got your ignition switch here um, that connector has to be removed and it turns out um, not only that but if you follow it back there is really the uh, it's kind of dark in there but the entire wiring harness connector has to be pulled out of there probably gonna need to get a flat blade and go in there with it um, you have to uh, pull a wiring harness thing here as well. They just have to be pulled out, probably with a flat blade. All right, so guess what? Hyundai's having a little laugh at our expense. Um, see this here, okay? This harness is attached to the steering column. Comes over here, so you have to remove this and this big one over here and yeah get this out pull down and it slides right out um, there you go but that's a snag you'll run into and that it's pretty tight actually Let's go ahead and get that to come down. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's going to get pulled or not. But, uh, eh, we can probably leave it, actually. <clears throat> All right, we're about ready. Um, we're going to need to take these nuts out and then further back their bolts. Uh, if you can see up there, there's a bolt, silver bolt. Yeah, four of them should hold this in. And uh, we can drop this and get that stupid thing replaced. Uh, actually, where does this go? Where does this go? Where does this go? This, where does this wire go? Uh, Oh, there's a wire here, goes to this motor, and it goes up to the back of this box. We probably should unhook it too. Let me see if I can show you the back of the box here. Maybe you can uh, make that out. 
yeah, that wire there, big black wire right there near the center of the frame, and it goes up behind that rib box. You got to pull that connector too, just to be on the safe side, I think. Uh, well, we'll find out. Okay guys, this is important. Once you get the four bolts, well two nuts, two bolts loose, the column will fall. You need to catch it, but there's something you need to be aware of here. If you look in the back there, and I'm going to do my best to show it to you, okay, do you see that metal thing? It's, it's a metal thing right there, right in the center of the frame. That metal thing sticking up is a hook. It kind of holds it up for you when you're doing this work. When you put it back together, that hook has to go up in that slot. Otherwise, you're going to have to take it apart and put it back together. Like, uh, there's another video on YouTube of a guy doing this. And he didn't even notice the hook, and he had to go back and redo some work because of it. So, I thought you should be aware of that. Okay. Well, all you have to do... Here you go. You see this hook? That's what I was talking about. This hook right here will help you out. It's what it's there for. Here is the source of all of our pain. This is what they allocate three hours at the local mechanic in the track system for the Napa management. <sighs> three hours worth of labor to take this down, take out the three black Torx 30s. There's one back here too. And replace this bushing. No joke. <sighs> like $300 job. $300, and you can do it yourself with like four tools. Hello, people. Share the moment with me, would you? You see this? It's coming off. So, I wanted you to be here as I uh, pop the cap and see what is truly going on under the hood, so to speak. Can't really get that flashlight to stay put though. That stinks. Well, whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. Oh yeah, you gotta see this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Look at that. Look, it's gone. I lifted it up. There's literally nothing left. That's why it was clattering. <sighs> nothing. It's gone, boys. It's gone. Well, Alright, we're gonna take this, what's left of it out, clean it out, put a new one in, and I'll be right back. <sighs> Yummy. All right, so it's pretty cold here, and my nose is killing me. So I want you guys to uh, take a look. Um, here is your motor-driven power steering motor. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. I've cleaned it as best as I can. You can actually use a flathead screwdriver if you push gently. Uh, to scrape the gunk off of these little tabs here. You can scrape all the gunk off with a flathead screwdriver or fingernails even. Yeah, fingernails will do. Um, but clean them as best as you can. Don't push too hard so you don't scuff it up. There's the steering section. And I'm going to get all that stuff out with a shop towel. If you can see that at all. Yeah, we're going to get the rest of that gunk out with some shop towels. But, uh, that's where it goes. Now, the other reason I'm pulling up this segment, this is a part you can get on Amazon. APDTY makes them. They actually uh, have a video on YouTube about this too, although I don't know that it's the greatest. Um, I watched a completely different video. This is your part for, at least for this uh, 
at least for this 2013 Sonata, but it may be for most or all of them, all of these Hyundais. Now, what does this part look like? I'm sure you're itching to know what this part looks like. It looks like this. Yeah, it, it's a little star. Now, the reason I'm bringing it up is I want you to look at that part, and I want you to look at what I took out. All right, there you go. Please excuse my chunky leg. I'm not a uh, skinny man. So there you go. There's the original Hyundai part. All right. The original Hyundai part, complete with out of focus. -ness. There's not much left of it. And then the replacement from AP DTY uh, is in slightly better condition. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't matter which direction you put it in or anything like that. Um, you should be able just to get it in there and get everything to go back together without a hitch. Um, yeah, you, you can go live over there. I'm going to put your friend down here. Okay, comrades, if you would like to make sure this is going to go together without a hitch, take this thing and put it in. And make sure it actually goes in. That's the way it works. It goes in like that. The teeth of the steering column, they will fall into these grooves here. Okay? And since this is the moving part, I'm actually going to put it back here instead. But if you go ahead and put it in both, that'll also make sure that you removed enough of the other junk material from the old one to put it all back together properly. Alright, reassembly time. It's the reverse of removal. Pretty straightforward, I hope. Well, everyone, as you can probably tell from the darkness and my heavy breathing, uh, I had to wait a while to finish this because that hook, I could not get it to hook without a second pair of eyes and hands to help me get it in the slot. In the end, I just needed the eyes. But, uh, oh man, when you get that hook in that slot, it is just sweet bliss. So, one of the things I wanted to point out, first of all, that cord on the back of the box, this big black cord right here, that doesn't matter. You don't have to unplug it from the back of the box. The box comes down with the column. Second, don't forget, to put the blue tab right here back in to this connector to keep it from coming out. Um, also, maybe don't put it in crooked like I just tried to do. Um, that doesn't work. Blue tab, blue tab. Yeah, it's it's way harder than it should be, honestly. Ah, there we go. Yeah. See, there you go. Blue tab. Um. Don't forget to put your duct in here. Um, you know, check your connectors. Make sure that you've got them. Make sure you've got all these. There should be five connectors in total that go to your dashboard. Um, switches and such. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically, you know, reverse it. That's it. Okay. Remember the ignition switch thing I, I mentioned? Yeah, there's a uh, rubber gasket around it that gets stuck on it. Uh, and you need to, when you sort of semi-force this shell back up around it, you need to pull this rubber ring gasket here away from the switch so that it can all fall into place and you can finish reassembly. thought you might want to know that. But yeah, everything... Uh, Pretty much works the way that I mentioned, you know, um, removal and whatever. You get the idea. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, that's the end of that. Make sure, by the way, to uh, check your signals on both sides. Um, also, be sure to check your brake lights which I have a vehicle back there I can do that with. So, yeah, 
brake light switch wasn't damaged. Check uh, windshield wipers. Check the horn. Because all these things hook up to uh, the steering column. You know, just check all your levers and functions. Um, you see, those lights are good. Just make sure that all the important stuff still functions before you go bombing away after this repair. Some people don't plug up connectors and uh, things don't work right. Alright, I hope this has helped. Take care.